Um, it's going to be an interesting evening in Trafalgar Square. As we have the uh, the big rally. Does anyone know what the situation is with the with the Greek supposed bailout and all that crap? Uh, I don't. <laughs> making people suffer for money that doesn't really exist and therefore doesn't need to be paid back. Oh, Greece giving in. Oh dear. Come on, love. What a surprise. Yeah. My friend Richie Allen will not be at all surprised at that. He's always been saying that the... Uh, the leaders of Syria are just there as plants, just like the leaders of Ukraine. But it's if the people are willing to put up with it, isn't it? That's the thing. Well, if you tolerate this, uh, there'll, be no, there'll, be, there'll be nothing left in ten years' time. There'll be no age of consent. Right? So it won't be illegal anymore. That's what. That's the biggest problem yeah. we've got. You remove or lower that age of consent, which is what the politicians and the paedophiles and the um, child abusers want. They want the yeah. age of consent removed. Um, and they, they tested the water using pie way back, you know. And and it was always it was always tabled as a motion. Let's lower the age of consent. It doesn't harm children. I mean, we're, we're seeing it slowly as well, drip, drip, drip on the news and on yeah. and in our media, where it says, you know, oh, there is no everlasting harm. There's no proof that there's any harm to a child. This is an adult raping a child. They, of course it's fucking harmful. You know, so as, as far as I'm concerned, until we get to the crux of the matter, is, which is we must arrest those accused of these crimes, just like yeah. anyone else would be, just like yeah. the public is. Uh, if, if it's a member of the public, there, there is a, a due process that is followed, and that is, is never good for the person who's being arrested. In, in the, in, in the um, situations with the politician, that due process is not being followed. Yeah. It's not the same for them. There was uh, one of the things said in the meeting today was that uh, there is a suspicion that certain people seek politics because they know it makes them above the law. Well, absolutely. So they can carry on their disgusting perversions. Well, that, I mean, the frightening fact is that we have now, uh, with the help of Ben Fellows, um, exposed the fact that there is a two-tier law police system. Yeah. And, and the fact that the politicians or members of European Parliament are um, immune from prosecution. Immune, like it's a disease. Yeah. Like they're, they're immune from legal proceedings. Now, if you're immune from legal proceedings, then you're above the law. That, that, that cannot be right in this country. And that's something that, we, that, that must be addressed. And the only people that can address it are the police themselves. Yeah. There's no point in talking to a politician about it. Then, so we really should be looking at getting all the chief constables from all the forces in, in yes. one bloody room and saying, why are you not doing your jobs? Yes. Because at the moment they're serving two masters, one being the elite and the other ones being the politicians. Yeah. We're, we're supposed to be the masters of our, uh, of our public police force. We pay for our police force but they don't work for us. No, so they certainly don't. They work for the corporations and they work they work for the elite. If we're going to have a police force that works for corporations and politicians, then we may as well stop paying for a police force that we're paying for. Well, exactly. We shouldn't be paying for it. Well, no, well I think we shouldn't. And then what I do think is we should be starting to look at creating our own peace force, a yeah. public peace force. Because at the end of the day, they're not protecting the public. They're not protect if they can't protect our children, they're certainly not going to protect us. And do you know what? The silence from them is deafening. Absolutely yeah. deafening. You don't get any um, any feedback. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping to uh, yeah. ensnare a um, a senior ranking police officer at Downing Street on Saturday. If you go toe to toe with me, then maybe answer some of these questions. Yes. There's a big void where there should um, be answers. Well, I, um, I, there were some very senior police officers with the gold scrambled egg on their hats at uh, St Paul's on Saturday. Oh, well, and I went up to them and asked them, what are they going to do about the Westminster paedophile ring? And they said, no comment. Really? They, and I got that on film, I got that on broadcast. They said, no comment. Ah. That, and that, I mean, isn't that, uh, that to, to me, that's unacceptable. Yeah. Um, the police officer, when asked questions, 
should, by members of the public, should in fact answer those questions yes. if, they, if, they, if they are in, within power to do so. No comment is an unacceptable answer. The same with this, oh, when I'm in a uniform, I mustn't have an opinion. Well, that's rubbish. So, so I can make a, an allegation against a, a politician for uh, raping a child, and then when I ask the police officer what his thoughts on it, he's not allowed to have an opinion. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Yeah. So, you know. But, I mean, here we are in the craziest city in the world at the moment. This We, are, we have now become, um, really, the paedophile capital of the world. You know, yeah. everyone now, the, the eyes of, uh, of the world are focused on London just to see how many of our politicians are actually child rapists. Yeah. You know, and how many of them have tortured children in dingy little rooms to make snuff movies that then go on. You see, you've got to understand, this is a huge organised crime syndicate. The trafficking of the children, the snuff movies, the raping of the children, it's all its all coming to a head now. And now we've exposed Rotherham, Nottingham, Sheffield, uh, Oxford, I believe Oxford. Yes. Somewhere. But Essex. So many, so, many na so many cities. We can now say this is a national problem. Absolutely. So, so we should have a national task force with one person yeah. at the top who answers the questions. The police officer at the top. At the moment, they've got, what is it, Operation Hydra? Well, Hydra means lots of heads. Yeah. Lots of heads. So you don't know when, when, when the victims, some of the victims are saying that they uh, they go to their police to, to find out what's going on with their case and they get told that it's now being dealt with by another operation over the other side of the country because something they said tied it to that in that part of the country. So it's like they're being passed around from pillar to post. It's, it's, we need a national um, police operation, a national um, organised uh, transparent inquiry with a person in charge. That person will be tasked, hopefully it'll be a family man who you know has, doesn't have paedophilic tendencies, but it's, it's becoming harder and harder to find. Again, going back to the drip feeding, 750 750,000 males, was it? I read the other day. Yeah, I don't believe that statistic, uh, I don't believe, though. I, mean, I don't believe the statistic, but the fact is, yeah, I think mean, it was express anyway. So. Yeah. But 700, that's, that's three quarters of a million, you know. Um, yeah. But if, that have tendencies, they say. But this is just drip feeding as if to make it make it right. Oh, oh, it's okay, they have tendencies. So it, we, we'll make up a, a medical term for it. <laughs> but it's, it's not all right, and it needs to stop. There we go, what's going on here? Enough is enough! Enough is enough! I've got a loose connection. <laughs> I'm rather disappointed. I've lost my sunglasses. Yeah. I'm going to have to buy a new pair now. If we're, I mean, if, if we're to get to the bottom of this, what we really need is the police to step up and take take complete control of their role. Well, I'm sure they're watching this, or they will be. Well, they will be later, <laughs> I'm quite sure. But, I mean, all, we, all we've got to do is go back to the, pre the days that predated when the CPS were involved in anything. Yeah. I don't know how many people know, but back in the old days, the police used to do the prosecution from yeah. start to end. There was no involvement from a Crown Prosecution service. Oh. Now, I'm still trying, I'm struggling with that last word, service. What service are they providing the public when they're refusing to, to prosecute high-profile criminals? Oh, yes. But are more than happy to rush through a prosecution for someone stealing a chocolate bar during a riot and give Oh, them yes, a make, make an example of oh, them. Oh, yes. The ones that should have an example made for them are the ones that have everything and still want to rape and murder yeah. children. Oh, they, they, should, they should be fucking crucified. Oh, this is why, you know, again, I have to keep saying Iceland had the right idea. You know, they took their corrupt politicians, which you can bet would have included many pedophiles, um, and their and their um, uh, corrupt bankers. They prosecuted the bankers. They prosecuted those that didn't get prosecuted. Did a runner, but where did they run to? City of London. Yeah. So you know, you've now got all the corrupt bankers from Iceland over here. If I, I personally, I just think you know, Iceland have got um, everything on us. 
they beat us to the punch on everything. They, they are the most clued up people I've ever known because they took their country back and they said, you people work for us. And that's where, you know, the police stood down, the police backed the people. The bottom line is, for really, for the police of the UK police service to have any respect now, they have to start policing for the public. <coughs> they have to police for the public. They can't, they can't serve two masters. And as I say, I know people will out there say, well, you know, the police don't work for us, they've never worked for us. But the fact of the matter is, policing by consent means we as a nation and we as communities have consented to be policed on these sort of, um, on these sort of, uh, where, where are you off to? Oh, I remember too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll try and grab them and bring them, but there's more people that end. All right, no worries. Oh, that a pub was, crawl up Whitehall, is it? <laughs> yeah, that was Sam Hill. Sam, uh, I believe, is another survivor of um, child abuse and uh, another regular on uh, with Challenge the Show. <coughs> See, the way to beat the system, or the way I thought would be the way to beat the system, would be to network all these people. Oh, yes. And that has worked. You know, the idea of putting these people together, not so much so they can compare stories, but so they can support each other and realise that by coming forward, they have now um, empowered themselves and surrounded themselves with a circle of friends yeah. that, that all understand their pains. So it has worked, you know, and, and they are now a formidable um, unit that can, can face down government pressure to try and sweep this all under the carpet. Because it can't be swept under the carpet. This is child rape, this is child torture, this is the murder of small children to make snuff movies. And it's all being done by the people in that building. Yeah. And so this is why I had a dilemma with the, the austerity protest. Austerity was the wrong battlefield. The real battlefield is the child abuse. Because with austerity, they can spin it. They can come up with any anything um, mathematical to say it's necessary. Austerity is necessary for the country to recover. So what's necessary for them to rape children? Why did it, what's, what, what possible reason is there that they could rape children? Um, because it's necessary. Mm. It's not. So we, we had them on the wrong battlefield. So now hopefully on Saturday, um, we can encourage a lot of people to come down, make a lot of noise, bring banners, you know, and, and add your voice. Come and talk to some of these survivors. Because when I talk to them, I don't see the grown-ups that I'm talking to. I see the kids that were abused, and especially in uh, uh, situations like Mickey Summers. The man had a shit life after that. Yeah. You know, everyone that I've met that has been abused went on to either have drug problems, criminal problems, uh, custodial lifestyles, or oh, none of them made it as master chef. Whereas yeah. some of the young kids that I've seen that have gone on from 16 years old to 17 years old have gone on to become great chefs and they were never abused. So it, it does affect how your life unrolls, un, uh, uh, unfolds. You know, I, I'm glad to say I was never abused um, in, in any kind of uh, physical way, except to say that, you know, we had a harsh sort of like Victorian type school. You know, we got caned, and I don't mean caned, yeah. I mean caned. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, halfway through uh, out my childhood, that was outlawed, yeah. you know? So, I mean, our, our real, the, the, big, the big issue is here is when are the police going to stand up and do what they're supposed to do, which is arrest the criminals and keep uh, the public safe? They need to apprehend these people. Uh, the, the, the public want to see them apprehended. Yeah, they want to see the long arm of the law on their shoulder saying, tap, tap, you're under arrest, sir. You know, and then hey. bail, bail them for a year. It doesn't matter, I'm on bail now. I've been on bail since January for a crime that I admitted in, Jan in January, uh, simply because they haven't decided whether they can charge me or not. But I've already admitted the crime, level five magistrate's offense. Yeah, I did it, I don't know, I'll, I'll go and explain to the judge. But no, no, they, they can't decide whether to to um, charge me. So for seven months, I'm, I've been on bail for a piddly little magistrate's offence. Now, if they can do that to me, why can't they put a politician on bail for yeah. a much more serious crime? Yeah, they don't want to disperse their... Uh... 
well, their the reputations, do they? The they're arrested, the moment they're arrested and bailed, that's it. You know, this is what they're desperate to avoid. Yeah. Oh yes, because everyone else will come out of the woodwork then that's got that's got dirt on them. Well, we all know that Ben Fellows has made several actually accusations against um, high high powered um, celebrities and film stars from America. No. And he's always re repeated them claims. I'm not going to do it on here. But he's always repeated those claims, and he said, "Sue me if I'm wrong. Sue me." And yeah. not one of those super super uber celebrities has ever sued him for what yeah. he said. Um, but of course, if you're right, if you did, <coughs> if he was, if, if someone were to sue, then that would open the floodgates for people to come out and say, well, actually, you did it to me too. Yeah. It's me. Yeah, the one thing they don't want is the publicity. Uh, well, I did hear from one of my reporter friends from a local, um, not so well liked um, newspaper, that uh, there are other allegations similar to Ben Fellows's circulating about the Minister of Justice. All oh, right. But they haven't they haven't been published yet. They are there are um, allegations and claims by other alleged victims that have not been made public yet. And you know, some of the journalists I've spoken to say that they actually do think Ben Ben Fellows was inappropriately touched. Mm. But um, we'll leave that to the courts to decide. Yeah, when's his trial? It's sort of soon, know, isn't it? I'm not actually sure. I think they keep moving it back. Oh, uh, because they don't the want the Bailey, publicity. Then it, was Southern, then it was back at the Old Bailey. Yeah. I think the idea is to, to, to lose everyone yeah. in, 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 as, as they're trying to get to the court case. Hopefully everyone will just drop off by the wayside. Yeah. But uh, whether that happens or not. I don't know, but I, I wish Ben good luck because it's a tough case. They've taken someone who is uh, accused as, uh, as a survivor. They've taken someone, and they've um, instead of him being a victim now, he's now the accused yeah. for perverting the course of justice. Yeah. Yeah, they haven't even had an inquiry into what he alleges. No. But straight away, he's um, he's he's guilty of perverting the course of justice before anyone has ever in, in questioned the person he alleged. Touched. Yeah. Because they, they can't question politicians as the police admitted on tape themselves. I've seen those tapes of them fellows do it. Uh, I mean, that's the crazy world that we live in in, in the Western Circle, isn't it, really? Yeah, they, they, these guys have been doing it. We, we know the names. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing Brian Clare on Saturday because, you know, that, that man knows more about who was doing what when in the 70s and the 80s than anyone else I know and uh, no matter what I throw at him you know, look, I, sent, I sent him a message the other day saying what have you got on Keith Bass I got a whole dossier oh, like, right. I've got a whole dossier in return I've, I've, I've got to sit down and read that at some point yeah because obviously that we're, he's a mine of information isn't he Mr Clare oh, yes. and, and, and of course we all know that Keith Bass and um, Lord Janna have been you know yeah Publicly, yeah, all know, all the politicians that stood for, stood up for Jana so much, yeah. uh, and the, when he was originally vi um, vindicated himself on the on the House Absolutely. of Commons, they all need to be investigated. Well, as it said in the Channel Four News show yeah. during the police interview, which was under caution, but he wasn't arrested. Um, no comment all the way through. Yeah. But when he got back into uh, the Houses of Parliament, he used parliamentary privilege to deny the allegations because mm. nothing, no legal action can be taken on a parli parliamentary privilege statement. So he so no can comment. use it to lie through your teeth. He used it to lie through your teeth. And and Vass and him have been, you know, bosom buddies for a long, long time. Um, the stuff that I was reading last night, obviously, I'm not prepared to comment on until I've got some some solid evidence behind it. But um, yeah, no, this House of Cards needs to come down and I think it's about time someone like Cameron did fall on his sword because the buck stops with him. He yeah. is stalling, covering up, hindering, stifling and otherwise derailing yeah. uh, the inquiries, both police inquiries and the statutory inquiry. Um, you know, he's, he's been caught out in so many ways. When Tom Watson said to him, can we have a cast iron guarantee? that the Official Secrets Act will never be used to uh, stifle any witnesses that want to come forward in child rape cases. Cameron said, I don't want to see anyone prosecuted using the Official Secrets Act when it comes to child abuse. Yeah. That is not a cast iron guarantee. No. That, is saying, that is your wish. That is not saying yes. we will make sure that no one gets prosecuted. And the next thing will be, but unfortunately. Yeah. Well, of course, no, because he can now say, 
that um, he, he has no control over the CPS yes. and he has no control over due process in the police. But it's clear, just looking at the Jenner case, yeah. that he does have um, influence over CPS. And I, I mean, there should have should have been a fresh review today. Apparently, the, the answers. It's the early today. next week. We've been told we're in Westminster today. They have, yeah, good at that. Uh, well, I mean, this is where we as we as a nation really have to decide: Are we prepared to sit back and let this happen without a fight, or without making our voices completely heard, or are we going to, you know, um, just tolerate it and say, "Here, have my children"? Yeah. I don't want no part of that. And to be honest, I'd be a lot happier. I'd be a lot happier if I wasn't in a country that is being predominantly dominated by pedophiles and their opponents. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people would be a lot happier living in a different country to that. I wouldn't. I, nowadays, if I were to go to another country, I'd probably be a, bit, a little bit too ashamed to mention that I'm British. Yeah. Anyway, welcome anyway. to Sandos. Right. Okay, well, I'll end the broadcast here. That was a very interesting half an hour walk yeah, or so. Up. Right. If people want to join us here in Chandos, just off Trago Square, or we'll be broadcasting later when yeah. this uh, rally picks up. You've got Bill Maloney here, you've got uh, Pete, uh, Kevin Allen, Joni, Mickey Summers is here, Mandy's here. There's quite a few people that, uh, if you came down, it, it's a, a survivor fest. So right. if you come down, you, you can you can meet some of these people and realise why we're camping, so, campaigning so hard with them, because they deserve a lot better than they've had. Right. Anyway, with that mind, okay. I'm going to find Bill because I've lost it. Right.